Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast with meteorologist Bill Alexander. Hey, good evening, folks. It has been a delightful day. If you needed rain, you got it today at 56 degrees, about 9 a.m. this morning. The high about 6 a.m. this morning, and we're sitting in the lower 60s right now, around 7 tenths of an inch. Some folks got a lot more than that. Few folks got a little bit less. Let's take a look at the satellite radar loop, and what you'll see is a big area of rain working its way eastward. The western edge of that now moving across the brush country and heading in our general direction, so the rain's about about to shut off here. Still some lingering showers and a few rumbles of thunder, mainly along the coast now. So we're largely done with it, but in its wake, some pretty cool air out there. 40s and 50s over most of the Lone Star State. Fairly cool air for this time of the year. Further west, El Paso basking in 78 degrees out there. I'll show you why in just a little bit, but our temperatures around here lower to middle 60s, a little cooler back in the brush country. Hebronville sitting at 58 degrees. Seawater out at Malachite Beach, 74 degrees. Now, how about dew points? Well, it is still juicy out there. Look at this mid to upper 50s. Yeah, lower 60s. Absolutely. As a result of that and the ongoing rain in some areas, visibility down at five miles there at Rockport where the rain is still lingering. You've got two and a half to three miles in many of the southern portions of the region, but then you're going to see that come to an end. The lingering moisture will allow for some fog overnight, knocking visibilities down to two to three miles, maybe a little bit less, uh, especially in the early morning hours for your uh, Sunday morning out there, especially to the north and west. Now, here's what's going on. The front came through this morning and it continues to push on to the east. Notice that backside of that, the warm front separating the chilly air from El Paso. That's why it's so much milder out there. They never got that cold air and they will not. We're going to see the rest of the area here clearing out nicely for your Sunday as far as partly cloudy conditions. Then warm front backs up on your Monday and what we'll be seeing is more showers return to the area with a lingering moisture and a little bit more instability. Tonight only a couple hundredths of an inch lingering. Other than that, we're going to be watching that north wind eventually die off a little bit, become more easterly tomorrow, and then by Monday start to ingest moisture, feeding those showers that will be developing with that southeasterly flow. In the upper air, fairly quiet, but you will see a few little bands of showers moving across during the course of the week, and that's what's going to lead to only some isolated conditions of shower activity uh, towards the middle of the week. And then by Thursday, pretty strong front will be making and in here with good upper level support, some pretty good thunderstorms Thursday, Thursday night, clearing out for your Friday and Saturday. It leaves with this forecast, cloudy skies, showery, cool, 57 overnight with a gusty north northeasterly wind. And then during the day, climbing up into the middle 70s, wind becoming a little more easterly. And then finally, over the next seven days, this is what we're going to be watching. A nice big warm up highs generally in the 80s, numerous thunderstorms for your Thursday.